Welcome back to Observing the Sabbath. I am your host, Nathaniel Molnar, and that's it. We finished Master of Reality. We've done all the songs on the whole album. Uh, I've had a lot of fun doing this album. You know, I've enjoyed doing uh, Black Sabbath. I enjoyed doing Paranoid. But I think one of the things that made doing Master of Reality so much fun was that I was joined by Johnny Gifford for a lot of the album. For Sweet Leaf, for Children of the Grave, and for Into the Void. Now, he did help me out, and we did Paranoid and Electric Funeral for the album Paranoid. But this was the most I've had a special guest to help me out with this album. And it's just, it's fun having a new perspective uh, and to bounce ideas off of somebody else other than just a camera lens. So that, it was a lot of fun doing this album. And to kind of talk generally about the album and recap a lot of the things I've been talking about in each of the videos. Master of Reality, I know a lot of people, especially Johnny, hold Master of Reality to be one of the, if not the definitive, top Black Sabbath album. I think for a lot of people, Paranoid and Master of Reality are those two. It's not so much for me. Master of Reality, if I'm looking at the original eight, Master of Reality is on the lower end. And that's not to say that I don't like Master of Reality or I don't like the songs on Master of Reality. It's just that there are other albums that I feel like the songs on there are even stronger. I would put Volume 4 uh, ahead of Master of Reality. I'd put Sabotage ahead. Uh, I'd put Black Sabbath ahead. I would put Paranoid ahead. Um, but this isn't a album ranking. That comes later. But Master of Reality, I think it's a very good album. I think there's a lot of great stuff on there. Sweet Leaf is a classic. It's such a great opener to the album. It is one of the best album openers by Black Sabbath. It's such, it hits hard. It's it's a great song. Uh, and Into the Void is my favorite song on the album. I That is one of my top favorite saddle songs. I think Into the Void is just brilliant. It is one of their heaviest. It is one of their darkest. It just, it, there's so much grit in that song, and it, it's, it's so good. And those riffs, there are so many great riffs in that song, and it takes its time, it slows things down. It kind of almost goes back to the deconstruction that we saw in uh, a bit of Finger slash Sleeping Village slash Warning at the end of Black Sabbath, the album. So it, it it's a very strong opener. Very strong closing song. Children of the Grave is a great song. I really like After Forever. I really like Lord of This World. Solitude, I think, is a great song that not enough people talk about. So, Master of Reality is, I think, a really, really, really good, strong album. Not one of those top, top albums for me. You know, uh, I think I've mentioned it before. If I haven't, uh, Volume 4 is my favorite of the Black Sabbath albums. And I'm very excited to talk about Volume 4 next on this channel. That's going to be a fun one to dive into. So that being my top, Master of Reality is on the lower side. But that is no way taking away from how great the songs are on Master of Reality. Uh, there's a lot of interesting themes and a lot of uh, like disparity uh within the themes it's going for many different things you know you the first uh song is talking about drugs and weed uh and then you have a lot of christian theme songs uh then you have like the slower more uh melodic song that's solitude and then you have children to grave which is about atomic war and and then into the void is about pollution and escaping the earth because it's you know going to hell <laughs> There's a lot of different things going on. Uh, Paranoid, I always said when we were talking about Paranoid, I kept saying that was probably their most political album. Uh, and Master of Reality is one that has probably the widest range in terms of the kinds of things that they're talking about. Because I think when you look at other Black Sabbath albums, there is a common link amongst most of the songs in terms of the type of thing that they're talking about. 
Whereas with Master of Reality, it's really all over the place in in really good ways. Like it, it's not that it's not consistent. Like there is a there's sort of a tonal consistency throughout the album, like in terms of the sound of it. But lyrically, in terms of the themes and the messages, it is very much all over the place. It's interesting in that sense. Uh, and as I talked about before at the top of this, um, Master of Reality was the album that Black Sabbath kind of... A few different things happened with Master of Reality. So, first being that there was this satanic perception of Black Sabbath. Uh, they put out the album Black Sabbath, and of course you have the song Black Sabbath, you have... And I be on there. You have a lot of things that made people think that they were a satanic band. And of course, the timing of this is also lining up with the satanic panic and all these sort of cultural things going on that they wanted to kind of even the scales a little bit. And so you have more of the Christian leaning stuff on Master of Reality, which is a little bit detrimental to me. Just because it doesn't really feel in line necessarily with what they have been and what they go on to be. If you look at the entirety of their music, you know, After Forever, really great song, but a lot of what it's saying doesn't really fit with what Black Sabbath is. And same in a sense with Lord of This World, although Lord of This World's a little bit different. So it feels a little bit out of place. And when you kind of see that, know the context of which that came about, it feels more forced in that sense. Um, But I mean, they got to do what they got to do, you know. Uh, That's what they thought was the right thing to do, and they went for it. And it, After Forever and Lord of This World are really good songs, but. Maybe they would have been a little bit better had they not felt like that they needed to go in that direction. The world may never know. So, anyways, uh, those are my general thoughts on Master of Reality. Oh, and I also wanted to mention, uh, the other point I wanted to make was that um, I've talked extensively about how Black Sabbath and Paranoid were albums that were essentially written while they were touring and that they were kind of crafted on stage and then they went into the studio and recorded their live set whereas master of reality is the first of the albums where they're actually in the studio for weeks the other two albums were done in a matter of days they're in the studio for weeks honing in on things crafting things trying things out adding new layers doing all the sorts of stuff um in the studio as they're making master of reality and so i think you definitely hear a difference in master of reality compared to black sabbath and paranoid uh you definitely hear that it's more composed you know it and i think that's a really interesting thing and then i think from there when you look at the other albums like volume four i think kind of takes the best elements of the live albums live albums paranoid and black sabbath and the sort of uh composition of master of reality and combines all that into making volume four so it has sort of the speed and the tempo and the feeling of the more uh of the albums that were created on stage but it has the the technical brilliance of master of reality and so i think master of reality was one where they're still trying to figure out how do you work in the studio And not just how do you go in and record for a couple of days and boom, you got an album. How do you fine tune and create an album in the studio? That's what they were doing with Master of Reality. And I think from after Master of Reality, they kind of lock in on that more as they go forward. So those are my thoughts on Master of Reality. I want to know from you, what do you think of this album? Do you think it is one of their best albums that they've ever put out? Uh, Do you agree with me where you like it and you think it's a really good album, but it's on the lower side in terms of their overall music? I want to know. Leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. And the next video we will be doing before we move on to Volume 4 is a uh, comment section video where I go through every single video that's up, take all the comments, and I read them out loud and discuss them in a video. So if you have thoughts on all the songs for Master of Reality, do go back Watch those videos, put in your thoughts, put in your comments into those comment sections, and I will be talking about it in the next video. So make sure you get caught up with that. So until our next video, until we talk about the comments and then move on to volume four, 
Thank you for watching.